Uh, I'm still not fully recovered, but uh, hopefully by the end of May I'll be back and uh, I'll be in uh, full game mode. But yeah, just it was uh, a tough recovery. I mean, just with PT and you know getting the range in motion and getting your strength back. So it's my uh, first major injury. So I mean, uh, you know, it was a different experience, and you just want to make sure you do it right. Uh, Kevin, the last time we talked with you, you know, there was you were hoping to come back uh, in the season. Just sort of what transpired in that kind of uh, final meeting with the doctor. That you know, maybe he told you that the injury was getting better, but just not good enough to play. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, once when I started shooting, I was like, you know, maybe I could come back. You know, I was really hopeful, and you know, I went to uh, the person who did my shoulder. Shoulder. He was. Uh, it's one of the best surgeons, you know, Dr. Altrosh, and, you know, I went back and made sure that, uh, you know, what I was doing is all right, and then, you know, he just kind of said, listen, it, you could feel fine, but if uh, you take a hit the wrong way, or if you get hit, you know, the whole surgery just could uh, take a turn for the worse, and uh, we're going to have to redo the whole process all over again, and who knows if you're going to be back for next year, so... Um, uh, it was just way too much risk, I think, and um, yeah, and then he just kind of shut me down. So it was unfortunate. I was doing everything uh, that I could do to get back, you know, bag skating and getting ready for the next game. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was just too early. So yeah. How frustrating is that? Uh, it's it's really frustrating. You want to be out there, help the guys win, and you know. Give him a little bit, bit of boost. I mean, uh, you know, I'm one of the older guys now, and I know that uh, a lot of the team relies on me to get out there and uh, help them uh, produce. So it was hard uh, watching uh, all the games because you want to be out there, but at the same time, you're still cheering on the boys. And I think they finished the season strong and uh, played with pride. Uh, I guess what's 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 the rest of the summer look like for you? I mean, do you continue to train, I guess, or work strengthening the shoulder, and when do you think you might be getting back on the ice, I guess? Yeah, um, you know, it's just uh, strengthening it, making sure you get that range of motion, that flexibility back, and uh, yeah, and uh, start skating and getting ready for uh, camp, you know, I mean, I think uh, that's going to be the main focus for everybody, you know, uh, what we did this season wasn't enough, and you know, it's uh, the onus is on all of us, not just one player, two players. It's it's the whole team. So, yeah, we got to make sure that we're, you know, coming uh, coming to training camp ready to go because you know this is a winning organization. You know, and that's the way it's been uh, for many years. So we want to get back to that identity and that culture as well, where you know we we have a you know good foundation in the locker room and everyone's getting along. Was it especially frustrating, uh, you know, when people look at this team and the number one kind of need is that the team needs to score, and then for yourself, you're like, well, hey, that's what I do, <laughs> but I can't be out there. So was that especially frustrating that way because your kind of skill is kind of what the team needed? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you saw it, like, you know, we just couldn't find ways to score, and I know that, like, I can help the team, you know, uh, put up some goals and, you know, produce. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's tough. Uh, you know, you, you can be as hard as play as defensive as you want, but if you're not scoring, you're not going to win that many games. So I think that, uh, yeah, I think the summer is just going to be big for all of us and just make sure that we're going to be all working hard and getting fit and ready and make sure that everybody recovers as well. You know, all the guys that need surgeries or re physical therapy sessions or whatever it is, just be 100% ready to go. Kevin, in some ways, is it, are you guys just sort of thinking, you know, glad the season over, you get a fresh start next year, and hopefully everybody's healthy and uh, ready to go? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that's what uh, that's what everybody's uh, thinking. I mean, we there's going to be a couple of changes, you know, with uh, new GM, and, you know, we don't know what he's going to do, but you can only control what you can control. So I think that's, you know, putting your time and effort into the weight room, you know, uh, working on your skating stride or whatever the case may be, you know. And, uh, 
yeah, make sure that everyone's going to be 100% dialed in once when training camp comes along. You know, speaking of GM, uh, you know, Doug had a very close relationship with a lot of the players and mm -hmm. so on. And how much of that kind of weighed on the team there near the end? It was hard. It was hard. I mean, uh, Doug, he was, uh, you know, he was kind of like uh, the backbone of this organization. He uh, provided uh, so many people with jobs. You know, he he cared about all of us too, and it was uh, cared about everybody's family. He was a good person, good uh, GM. He understood the game, incredible hockey mind, and uh, not only that, he cared for all the players as well. Like you mentioned, a new GM, you know, there will be uh, changes. If a new GM comes up to you and says, you know, why should Bob Bugner be the coach of this team, what would you say to the GM? Um, I tell him, uh, you know, Boogie, he, he's a competitor. I mean, he wants to win. And, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't get it done. Maybe make some few tweaks here and there, but... I think that uh, at the end of the day, it's not, you know, it's the GM's decision and he's, I'm sure there's analytics on, you know, like systems, like the way coaches uh, handle the year and the way players handle the year. So I think that uh, whoever the new GM is, he's going to try and reconstruct the team the way he wants his identity to be. So, and I mean, Bottom line is we want to be a winning team, winning organization again, and that's the main thing. Uh, so we want to get back on track in whatever way that is. We just have to uh, get there. Kevin, you mentioned a few tweaks. Um, do you think perhaps there's going to be bigger changes really to get back to a competitive playoff team? <laughs> I think that uh, I, I believe in these guys. Like I, I really do think we got a good core group of players and uh, you know we got a lot of skill set as well um, what the answer is I'm not sure but I know that everybody contributes and everybody plays a big role on the team and uh, we not sure we just have to kind of make that next step and kind of turn make that turn and start being winning games again what do you think of having another forward sort of to replace Kane, let's say, in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, uh, you know, he can play the game. I mean, you see it in Edmonton, and, uh, you know, he puts the puck in the net. But, uh, yeah, we just got to make sure that uh, when you lose a guy like that, that you find, figure other ways out, you know, whether it be a little bit more defensive or, you know, players uh, from all four lines contributing. So, uh, yeah, you know, you just, it's a game and you got to try and figure it out and win. What do you just thought about how that whole thing <coughs> transpired, you know, in the locker room? What was the thought about that? Uh, sorry, say that again. About Kane leaving, what was the thought in the locker room about among you guys? Um, I mean, uh, it was, I think, the, the fashion and the way that it happened, you know, it was, it, it was a big elephant in the room. But at the same time, you know, we were in season and we had a job to do. So we, we wanted to make sure that we, we handled it well. And uh, we just came to work every day. You know, it's like, all right, let's put this behind us. Let's get back uh, to our game mode and get ready for the next game and uh, let the management handle the rest.